this right here, this look right here. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, fuck it up, ladies. everybody welcome back to chain reactions uh, I was very busy in December with work so I wasn't able to check out a lot of the stuff I wanted to check out which includes older stuff from groups that I'm just getting into here uh, I know that uh, G Idol just won some awards including Soyon winning for being a great producer so I figured this would be a good time to check something out um, I believe Hua if I'm pronouncing that right, was one of the things recommended to me um, if not I, I'm still gonna do it so hopefully it is so let's get into it Going through seasons. Ooh, Ooh look at them. Chadi Chan, Hungyori, Dok Chintan, Try not to pause because I'm trying to do a listening and then I'll talk about it. But first off, the vocals, the tone, the lyrics, the mood, and then them going around and looking at me, looking like that. What am I gonna do? It's so cool too, walking into like this room. Red hair and all this blue. And it's not because I don't want to hear Soyon, because I do. Um, I really, really like this uh, this choreography, this imagery, this attitude. Also, literally every one of them looks very, very good. Um, I know that's not the point. I, I watched the, the nude music video. I understand it's not all about looks, but it's not my fault that Shua and Yuki and Mion and Minnie and Sujin and Soyon, they, they all look amazing. So you have a problem with that, you can talk to them. <laughs> Like mm, hips and the legs, arms. Hey, and that little look. I love this. Very fucking dope. Oh yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna talk about that. Hey, Me on with the smooth vocals. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Hey. Beautiful. 
Okay. Here we go. Hey, fuck it up, ladies. Ah, oh, that needs to be at least three times longer than it was. Um, very, very dope. First of all, um, I didn't know uh, like what to expect um, from this song because so far uh, G Edel's given me a lot of different things. But what I really liked about this is that it built somewhere, it went somewhere, and they didn't do a lot of like heavy drops or big belting moments they did they focus more on being like smooth and having a nice elegant flow and some storytelling with the lyrics and with the tones and with the imagery so um just another another thing that g Edel has given me that i think is really really dope and different we start off with this like mood setting cold you know but then you have minnie's hair just kind of really standing out and then Soyan obviously about to deliver us some very nice vocals, but I like that when she starts singing, they all look away, and then she's the one that looks towards the camera. Very, like, interpretive and artistic. Hey. Mm. And then I think it's really, really cool walking through the setting from the outside into this, like, fake room where they're all sitting around. And by the way, looking incredibly beautiful just here's a moment look at me look at her amazing yes and then i like that the beat kind of kicks in with this like almost like latin sort of flavor almost like a reggaeton kind of beat and then we have sujin come in it's nice to see her as part of the group instead of just in the solo i know you know there's a big story there but I can't deny, as much as I, I think Giotto was dope and before I saw Sujin, and I saw Sujin in her solo thing, which I also liked, you can check out that reaction, not a lot of people watched it, but um, I could definitely see that she does bring something to the group, and I can understand that uh, a lot of people miss that. Mm. The red hair with the blue background and the white and blue makeup and the white dress is just a really, really cool stylistic choice. Especially when you're talking about snow and fire. Neon coming in, beautiful. These smooth vocals. Mm. And then I love this choreography. Am I a simple man? Sure. I like hips moving, I like legs. Uh, but they also give us a lot of arm choreography. They give us some, like, uh, some tutting almost at a couple of points in the video. I like that too. Some stomps and some kicking a little bit. This right here, this look right here. <laughs> Stop it. Right there. Mm. All right, one more time. Mm. It's like it mixes this really cool uh, vibe with these interpretive elements. Yeah. Here we go. So she starts off slow, right? She builds us into it, and I've noticed this in a couple of her verses that she's had. She starts off with one tone, and then when the lyrics build somewhere, she's a storyteller, so she takes you somewhere. So she doesn't finish it the way that she started it. She's sl slower, it's a little softer. She builds up, she picks up that energy, but that's not. it's not just rapping harder or getting louder she's also getting faster she's also changing her flow to put the emphasis on the lines and on the messaging that she wants um because that's rapper shit and that's what she does picking it up uh. 
beautiful lyrics. Uh, I love the imagery. Again, this whole song, the lyrics are very poetic, talking about elements, tying it to emotions, tying it to feelings. Um, it's very, it's it's pretty literal, but it's very powerful. Um, I also like what's a little different is she builds you up into this because it gets a sense of urgency, kind of gets your heart beating. And then Yuki just comes in with the vocals. There's no pause. There's no delay. There's not really a transition. She just wraps, 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 wraps into the vocals, um, which I feel like is another interesting way to take you somewhere in the song so that we're not just repeating the same things. And it, it adds a punch to what she was talking about by having Yuki come in and start talking about building the fire. Really, really like the imagery. Obviously, cold and snow and ice. There's a lot of obvious imagery there. I think that stuff's beautiful, but I know for emotions, it's usually negative. Um, it's usually about being unfeeling or feeling unprotected, feeling vulnerable, feeling cold and alone. You know, like that's like a concept. Um, and I really like that what they're talking about is building their own fire, providing their own heat to protect themselves against the cold, to melt that ice. They're not talking about finding a new man or whatever, or a new partner, um, like a lot of uh, songs songs might where they need someone to bring them that heat and to bring them that protection they're doing it for themselves which i think is also an element of empowerment on top of just the general poetry and beauty of it all i love what mini does too in this song uh, hit me with that choreography again. Now we're wearing like a little more floral looks. Which I think is also really cool. It started off showing us the seasons passing on the tree. Now we started in winter. We're talking about fire. We're talking about freeing ourselves. We're talking about, um, you know, getting out of where we were before. And now we're getting a little bit of more spring imagery. We're getting more pastels. We're getting more flowers. We're getting more greenery. Uh, again, it's the music video matching the lyrics and the tone of the song in telling a story and bringing us somewhere so that we finish somewhere different from where we started. Uh, which also accurately describes Soyeon's verse, where she also made sure that we didn't finish where we started. Hey. Yo, I love that fucking move. Also, the framing with the hands, correct me if I'm wrong, and if you didn't watch it, go watch my Agassi reaction, but uh, I think Sujin also did framing with hands. I feel like that was also a pretty, pretty good good element of her music video so i wonder if that's a reference because obviously this is older um if that was a reference to this kind of imagery or if that's something they do a lot in their older videos but that does stand out to me We also recognize that fire doesn't just come back cold, it's also dangerous. It also, you can burn yourself, it can cause damage. Ooh, and those vocals right there. Beautiful. And then I love this. We've got the moving orange rip fabric representing fire, and then the way that they do this choreography right here. Uh, it's different, it's graceful, it's interpretive, it's feminine, but it's also got attitude, it's got ferocity. Love it. And then it ends way too suddenly and makes me sad. Uh, but yeah, really, really liked it. As usual, impressed with G-Idol because they don't just give you stuff that sounds good. They don't just look good. They give you stuff that means something. They give you stuff that's got like a little, little extra spice, a little extra flavor. Um, I really, really appreciate that about them always. Congratulations again to them on winning the awards. Congratulations to Soyon, the singer, rapper, producer, dancer, uh, <laughs> getting recognized. I think that's very, very cool. If Hua wasn't something that was recommended to me, my bad, but no regrets because this was dope, so that's cool. Let me know what else you would want me to see. Let me know if you think I misinterpreted any of the imagery or the lyrics or the vibe of the song. Uh, and let me know uh, what else you think I should check out from G-Idol uh, or whatever your feelings might be. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Please consider liking and subscribing, trying to grow the channel. The more of Neverland that subscribes, the more videos I can make that don't hurt my presence in the YouTube algorithm. It's annoying, but that's how it is. So please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this and you want more G-Idle content. And until next time, stay fresh.